Hello, and welcome to another bulk product edit tutorial. Today we're going to be doing some bulk collection editing. So on the dashboard, let's go down to bulk collection edit. And today we're going to be doing a CSV import. So you can find it here on the home page or on the sidebar right here. Let's jump in. For CSV imports, we can choose to either edit the existing collections that we have or to add new collections in. Today we're going to be editing existing collections. And so we need a file to upload. And in our previous video, CSV exporting, we exported all of our collections. So let's go over to that file. Here we can see our exported file with three different collections. We're going to be making some edits to the different fields in our collections, and then we're going to be importing them. So let's go ahead and start making changes. First, I want to make my collections more interesting. And so I'm going to be adding the word new and then a dash to my collection handles, just to show that these products are new to my store. And the collection handle is the URL to my collections. Now let's also change the collection title. So for the title, we're going to use proper capitalization and we're going to use a space instead of a dash. Perfect. We can edit our collection descriptions. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the punctuation here. We're going to leave our collection types as manual, but for our collection products, we're going to be adding a new t-shirt to our list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy one of these and paste. And then I just need to replace the product number with my new product I want to add to my list. And we'll see that product later. And because my collection types are all manual, the next four fields are all about automation. So we don't need to touch these. But for our collection meta titles and our collection meta descriptions, we want to add those in this import. So let's go ahead and make those. So I've set up my collection meta titles. I'm going to set it to my store name and then a dash and then the collection title. And let's do something similar for the collection meta description. And so for my collection meta description, I'm going to be setting it to my collection title and then a dash and then my collection description, just because you want the most amount of data in your meta description. And this helps with SEO. And so that's all the changes that we're going to be making to our collection. And it's important to note not to change the collection ID, because this is how we know which collection we're editing. So let's go ahead and download this file and go back to BPE. So now we're back at BPE collection import and we have multiple options here. We could just upload the file that we just downloaded. We could submit a spreadsheet URL. This is a URL to a file that is being hosted somewhere on the internet and it would have a format of something similar to this. Or we could submit an FTP location where we would have our file being hosted on an FTP server and we could just download it from there using this FTP format. But we're just gonna be uploading a spreadsheet file, choose our file, and let's go ahead and upload. Now BPE is going to show us a preview of the file that we uploaded, just so that we can make sure it's the correct file. And finally, we just need to map our columns in the file to the different elements. And this field up here is for searching, and then this field is for editing. And so because we're using the collection ID for searching, we're going to choose collection ID, and we can see our collection ID is column one, so we'll use column one. And now we're going to be picking all the columns that we're editing. And so scrolling up, we can see collection handle column two, we edited that, collection title column three, and collection description column four. So let's add that right here. And so column two, we want our handle, and we also do want the URL redirect, just so that our old URL works and it redirects to our new URL. And let's add an update rule. Column three is gonna be editing our collection title, new rule. Column four is our collection description, and I'm gonna continue with all of the fields that we edited. Great, so I finished up with all of our columns that we edited, and now we're ready to start the import. So let's start the CSV import, okay. And let's wait for this to finish. Okay, great, our task finished. Let's check out the details. In our details list, we could see all of the individual changes that occurred in the import. We could see the fields that we're editing, the old data that was in the field, and then on the right side, we could see the new data that we're putting into the field and if it was successful or not. And as we could see right here, we were collection adding products, but these are the three products that we already had in the collection. And so it wasn't changed because the products are already in the collection. But if we go down, we could see that we did actually add this one product to our t-shirts. And that's because it is a new product that we wanted to add into the collection. And so let's go to our store and check out one of these collections. Here on our collections page, we could see our new pants collection, our new t-shirts collection, 
And remember, we changed the name of these. And we also have a new phone cases collection, but it's currently not visible because it's disabled on our online store shopping channel. But we're going to be checking out our new t-shirts collection. We have our updated URL handle, new-t-shirt. We have our new t-shirts title. We fixed up the punctuation on our description. And as you can see, we have four products in this collection now. We used to have three products, but we added the crazy shirt product into the collection. And in order to see the meta title and meta description, let's go back to BPE. Here we can see our collection title, the new URL handles, the meta title with our store and our collection title, and meta description with our collection title and the collection description as well. Well, that's just about everything you need to know for importing collection edits in bulk product edit. Thank you very much for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.